Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome back to Mudlocks. Now, let's get through this enormous gigantic mold of conversation. Am I going crazy? Not at all, just stay calm and accept that what is happening is real. Did I set a timer? Yeah, okay, good. That may be crucial if you wish to find your friend. Okay, can you tell me more about ghosts? Why, of course, it's my specialist subject. Let me tell you about the different kind of ghosts. First, there is ectoplasm, or a ghostly mist, a spirit or soul that has passed from his life. It transform, transforms into a mist of vaporous state normally right before appearing as an apparition. Then we have orbs, a spirit or soul that can be of an animal or human that has passed from his life. There are many theories about orbs, but due to the sheer number of them captured in photographs, their credibility is in doubt. They do look a lot like dust particles, even to me. Good. Funnel ghosts. This is an odd and mysterious phenomenon. They are often felt as a cold spot. There are some theories about them, such as the cold spot is a vortex that has transportation for spirits from their realm to ours. Then we have the true classic, the apparition. This is a very rare thing to see, although some physics claim to be able to see these spirits all the time. They often appear to be disfigured or faint, pale and generally ghostly, often in fully formed human shape. Often this can be a type of haunting where they know they are dead and try to communicate with you for some reason, maybe to move on or other reasons unknown. Spirits and demons both can appear as these, but more often that is not. More often than not, I think more often than not, it is a ghost. That leads me on to demons, evil spirits of the devil that never really existed in human life. The purpose of a demon is just is it just wants to see you scared and die. It is very difficult to get rid of and often exorcisms don't work on them. They can easily possess a human and they can do a lot of harm to that person. The possibility of the Govas being demons is something I don't want to think too much about. I could literally soil my trousers. Besides, he said demons never existed in a human life. Next, we have ghost lights, an unexplained light that glows or flashes, mostly seen from a distance. The colors can vary, but but they are seen as white, blue, or yellow. The famous poltergeists. Now these are the, now these are something that is trying to make itself known by moving objects. They normally happen in a specific part of the house, such as certain rooms or floor. Finally, there's the residual haunting. The main thing to know about this particular ghost is that it is not a ghost at all. It is simply just a recording of some event that happened in a particular place or building which repeats itself and is nothing to be scared of. Does that answer your question? Well, thanks, that's a lot of great information. The Govas definitely sound like apparitions according to this guy's info. Alright, let me check if my recording is going alright. Alright, it seems to be going well. That's my next step. I should definitely have some sort of second screen or some other way of being able to see my recording software. Have you heard of any local ghost sightings relating to an old woman and a teenage girl? I'm afraid nothing comes to mind. Skim about Govers. Do you recognize the people in this locket? Does the name Gover mean anything to you? Gover? Never heard of it. No worries. Can a ghost harm a human? Yes. If they have enough energy, they can. A lot of people get pushed, hit or scratched by ghosts. More serious cases have broken bones and a few have died. But I mean, it's like people... Would this person ever hurt you? Yes, if they want to. Spirit, spirits such as poltergeists have been shown to do the same. Could my friend be in danger? From the ghosts, I mean. Potentially, if he angered them somehow by finding the locket and if they have enough energy. It's the same in ghosts and the living. They will only hurt you if they want to. What do you mean by energy? This is something we still don't fully understand. Some entities just seem more powerful than others. This aspect is particularly concerning, yes, because they have energy enough to appear to me. But if I'm to believe Vincent has been taken by ghosts, can they harm him? Apparently so. Well, if they have enough power to actually take someone, perhaps. I really need to step up the pace of this search. Can ghosts kidnap people? Uh, there has been no reported cases of this, to my knowledge. That's a first for everything. All I know is if your friend has been kidnapped by ghosts, they must be extremely powerful. Hmm. It's reassuring and frightening at the same time. Can an object unleash ghosts out into the world? 
They have, been they have certainly been cases of haunted objects. Spirit energy, both positive and negative, can be contained in an object that may have been of importance to its owner, or at hand of the time of death. That's something weird. Do you think when Vincent opened the locket, he released the spirits connected with it? It's highly possible. And indeed, probable. I had kind of worked out this. I had kind of worked this out, but still, it's good to hear it from authority. Authority. Have you ever tried to contact a ghost? Never. There are so many quacks and frauds in this world of mediums, I don't trust them. Besides, it's dangerous to interact with something such as a spirit unless you truly understand it. I don't think I'm ready. Do you think I should try and get in touch with my ghosts? It could be of great advantage to you. They may be able to tell you exactly where your friend is and why they may have taken him. But in saying that, if they are malevolent, you may be sealing your own fate as well. The choice is yours, but I would advise extreme caution. Thanks. Looks like I have a decision to make. A seance sort of situation may indeed lead me, to dire lead me directly to Vincent and solve the whole situation. Or I could end up in the exact same situation as him. I can't believe I'm thinking this shit. Me neither. Surely I just need a good night rest and Vincent will turn up tomorrow night as rain. Right as rain. Sigh. Do you know anything about local, local churches helping people escape during World War II? Yeah, sorry, I couldn't read that. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Apparently some churches around this area helped Jewish people escape London during World War II as they believed that Britain would eventually be conquered and they would be persecuted. Interesting, but why are you bringing this up? I did research about people in the locket and discovered that the old lady ghost I saw and the teenager went missing and were assumed to have escaped the UK. A local tour guide then informed me about the churches, but she didn't know too many details. Sounds like an intriguing chapter of history, but alas, I don't know anything about it. Introductions. I'm Winston, what's your name? It's a pleasure to meet you, Winston. My name is Malcolm Stankovic. Stankovic. Nice to meet you, Malcolm. Yes, let's just stick to Malcolm. Alright, goodbye. See ya. Alright, so now we had that. I'm getting mixed feelings from these guys. I came in here as a skeptic, despite what has been happening, and I still think I am one. David seems a bit loopy. Stankovic seems like he watched too many episodes of The X-Files. Jenny is hard to pin down. She seems to love the paranormal, but sort of dismisses it the same at the same time. I'm not any closer to finding out if I've actually seen the ghost of the Goves or if I'm just going a bit mad. I'm not sure what I re I'm not sure what I was really expecting by coming here, but it's proving to be a bit fruitless. Especially fruitless considering that whilst I'm stood here talking to oddballs and nutcases, Vincent is still somewhere out there. Hey, it's not nice to call people oddballs and nutcases if you're asking them for help. I feel like I'm failing him. Oh, there's our medium. At least I assume that's her. David, my dear, a pleasure to see you. An honor to have you here tonight, Miss Heaven Gold. Let's see, she should have a special voice. A true celebrity of the paranormal world. You make a woman blush, David. Bonnie, over here. Jenny, darling. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that up, but we'll see about that. She's shuffling with. That must be the famous Bunny Heaven Gold. Could she be the key? I wanna see if I can go in here first. I mean, there is a doorway. Winston, I'm afraid that area is off limit for the moment. Please stay in this room. I'm sorry. Then how about... Okay, I can go in there. Windows. What a view. The city of London twinkles in the night. The Thames rolling along in between. I guess he's in Paul's to the left. What a building. There's a group chattering away in the far side of the room. Let's talk. They all seem rather engaged in conversation at the moment. I'll see if I can make do with aloneness. Alright, I hope so. That must be her. Yes. Alright, let's have a chat. Hello. Hello, Zaire. Ask about herself. So, you are the famous Bunny Heaven Gold. I am the one and the same. It's a pleasure to meet you. And you? What is your name, may I ask? You can call me Winston. Okay, you can call me Winston. Okay, you can call me Winston. I'm glad you can call me Bunny. What? Charmed, I'm sure. 
She has the aura of an old Hollywood grand dame. She clearly thinks of herself as the bee's knees. Ask about a ghost. What can you tell my ghost? Darling, don't bore me. Ask me something I'm not an expert in, won't you? I'm not sure what accent this is going for, Azu. I'm just pulling your leg. What would you like to know? Have you seen a ghost? Oh, do you know any local ghost stories? Darling, I, I am not local. I'm international. Ha ha ha. Uh, I guess not. Have you seen a ghost? Dear boy, the things that you call ghosts are all around us. They are like oxygen and carbon dioxide in the air. It's just that only certain individuals in this great pool we call humanity have the ability to tap into their frequency. I'm just gonna pretend I have a very bad infection. I am one of these blessed individuals, hence my day job as a medium to the high and powerful. Can you communicate with the dead? I am a vessel through which the dead have a chance to speak again. I am blessed thus. So I af if I asked you to communicate with a particular spirit or ghost, you could do it. Honey in my sleep. Would you be able to do it tonight? These days, Winston, I am only available at a fee. A fee for which David was unwilling to stump tonight. So I'm just here for a cameo appearance. I shall be performing no seances tonight. Oh. Who have you been able to communicate with? I've talked with men and women ranging from Egyptian princesses to Tudor peasants. All I need is an object that has some sort of meaning to the deceased, and I can tap into the spirit energy that is residual within it. So all you need is something that is was significant to the person. Yes. And the according fee, of course. Ha ha ha. How much do you charge for a seance? Don't tell. My fees vary, of course, but for your standard communication service, I need a fee of 500 pounds. 500 pounds? Some may consider it steep, but communicating with the dead is oh so tiring. It does weigh me thin. Not by the looks of it. But you just said you could do it in your sleep. I never said such a thing, no, never mind. Of course, since the Pendleton case, I have been in inundated with offers. If I didn't charge highly, I would be absolutely swamped. Are you aware of my work in the Pendleton case? Yes, I think David may have mentioned it. I saw the doubters, to the skeptics, look at the Pendletons and what I did for them. What more proof does a man want? The paranormal world exists and I am their voice. A very annoying one, quite. Miss Heaven Gold is completely full of herself and makes me slightly sick. But I'm desperate to find out more about the gophers, but where am I going to get five? I still have the painting. And that was worth like 600 pounds. I have the fat total of $24 in my bank account. Pounds. I'm sorry, pounds in my bank account right now. What brings you to the meeting? I've been a regular at these meetings for years. Only now they have to pay me for my appearance. Ha ha ha. It's my first time today. I hope my colleagues are treating you gently, my dear. Thanks, bye for now. Ciao for now. Oh, Winston. If you doubt my credibility, I can tell you now that you shouldn't. How come? Would you like to know a little about the spirits you currently have around you right at this moment? Excuse me? The spirits? They are right beside you. An old woman and a young girl. What did you say? Oh my dear, clean your ears out. Come here, why don't you? What did you just say? Winston, as I have said to you, I am a medium. This means I do not only have the means to communicate with the dead, but also to see them. I see dead people, just like in the film. And you, my dear, have two of them right beside you, right now, on either side. I'm almost too shocked to respond or move. What do they look like? There's an older woman, I would say around 80. She carries herself as someone who perhaps had a great wealth, but she looks very concerned. Yes, she's a little bit unsettling to be honest with you. Unbelievable. And the other? A pretty young girl, a teenager. She has the face of someone who went through a terrible ordeal, and there's an urgency to her expression. Oh my god. 
Are they saying anything? Their energy is low. Good! Their voices are weak. But I sense they wish to tell you something. Tell me what? I'm afraid I can't work it out yet. There's something missing in my hands and my bank account. Cough, cough. She's not doing shit without me handing over the cash. Can you help me communicate with them? Sigh. I'm only here for personal parents, Winston. No seances tonight. What if I give you your fee? Well, obviously, in that case, I would consider it. Am I in danger? Without doing a full seance, I am unsure as to exactly what they want from you. God damn it. Am I in danger or not? This is very important that I find out whatever it is that they are trying to tell me. I have a friend whose life may depend on it. <laughs> cough, cough. This woman is despicable. Yes, in every way, shape or form. What do you need again? I need an item of importance to the, to the deceased that will allow their energy to focus. Given the close proximity to you, I think you must already have something on your person. Yes, and? 500 pounds. That is my flat fee. I don't have the kind of cash. Look, Winston, I am a woman of expensive taste. I need money. 500 pounds in cash or nothing. I can't believe this woman. See you in a bit. See you soon, Winston. I don't know, maybe I could give it a lock at first. The spirits haven't all talked about sound an awful lot like the Gobes. This is crazy. I feel sick. Have they been following me the whole time? Oh my god. I think I'm just have, going to have to tr throw myself into this and believe. For Vincent's sake. But where the hell am I going to get money for this extortionate, greasy, unbearably cheeky ma medium? Well, you do have a painting, don't you? But I first want to see if she can do something with the locket. No, not with the doorway, with Bonnie. Here, take a look at this. I don't know who the older woman is, but that is without doubt the girl I can see standing right beside you. A chill runs up my spine. Unless she is taking me for a ride, this could actually be legit. I think the locket belonged to someone in the Gova family. Either the teenage girl or the old woman. Will this work for you? Yes, I'm sure this will do the trick, darling. Come back when you have my money, won't you, sweetie? Here's your damn... I really hope this works, because otherwise I don't know. She said she wanted 500. I don't think she's going to accept items instead. Uh... So she's not going to take items. Please. She said she wanted 500. I don't think she's going to accept items instead. Alright, so I think I need... I. Is there a way to sell... This painting? Can I leave or can't I? I can't do anything with it. No, but I mean... I can't actually... Excuse me, Winston. Just to let you know, I'll be closing up these doors soon. We can't have latecomers wandering in all night. So if I leave, I might not get back in. Correct, I see. Okay, so I do need to stay here. I'm going to have to somehow find $500 in this room. Pounds. Sorry, I keep saying dollars. You know what, let's talk around a bit again. Hi, David. Winston, what can I do for you? Can I borrow $500? Pardon? I need to pay 500 pounds for Bonnie to do a seance. Oh, don't you want to see her in action? I'm afraid I don't have that kind of money on me, Winston. I'm sorry. Hmm. Right, see you in a bit. Bye for now. Let's talk to Malcolm. Hi, hello. Can I borrow $500? I beg your pardon. I need to pay 500 pounds to pay Bonnie to do a seance for me. Did I not tell you how absolutely dangerous such a thing could be? Besides, do I don't carry around that sort of money. If I can get the cash, I will proceed with caution. Don't worry. Indeed. Well, Bonnie said she was a woman of wealth. Hey, hi. Can I borrow $500? 500 pounds? Piss off, mate. I was just asking. What the hell are you talking about? I need some money to pay Bonnie for his day out. You people do realize that I'm standing here, don't you? Winston, do leave us alone, my dear. Miss Hung and I are trying to catch up here. See you in a bit. Bye. 
Oh, David. Hola, David speaking. Yes. Interesting. I see. If he's willing to pay two grand for the riches and let him buy it. But tell him we won't budge below that. So he's interested in art. Tell him he won't find a gallery in London that will offer him a cheaper one. Thank you, Rupert. I've got to go. Bye. I wonder what that was all about. Let's talk to him for a bit more. I bet he's some sort of... Um, auntie care or something. Ask about the phone call. What was the phone call about, David? Oh, just some business. What is it that you do? I don't wish to discuss my private affairs, Winston. This is domain for all things paranormal, not boring work stories. But I thought all English people love talking about their work. Do you think I sound English? I was born in España. Apologies. Let's... Why can't I? Come on, let me let me do stuff. Let me... Oh, here. Here we go. Are you sure you don't want this painting? Hey, David. Winston, what can I do for you? Judging from your phone call I just overheard, I can't help but wonder if you're some sort of art dealer or gallery owner. Why, yes, darling, I am, but I don't want to talk shop tonight. What do you think of this painting? Perhaps you would like to take it off my hands. Oh. What are you doing carrying around an original Craig Dexter? It's scary lich to keep that thing rolled up in your coat. It's yours for 500. No, as for 600. Just at 600. A generous offer, Mr. Winston. Too generous. I am indeed looking to add a few dexes to my gallery, and this is a great price. I could double my money. I will give you 400. But you just said you could double your money. Take it or leave it, hombre. Um, but I really need 500. 400. It's not enough to pay money. Go on, 500, please. I've got an idea. I'll give you 500 if you go say Candyman five times in front of that mirror over the fireplace. What's the catch? You're kidding, right? I'm serious, the 500 is yours. Sure, I'll do it. You're mad, don't do it. Hush now, Malcolm, don't frighten the poor boy. Off you go then, the 500 will be yours. Everybody knows the urban legend of the Candyman. I don't. You say his name five times in front of a mirror, then he appears and kills you. Even with all this spooky stuff going on, I'm pretty confident I can do this. Although it's a very strange request from David. Alright, David. This mirror looks very old. It has always been fascinated by old mirrors. I like to look into them and think about who may have been standing before them in the past. Portland. Smoking mirror is not going to be... Very, stroking mirrors is not going to be very fruitful. Now talk to it. Here goes. Candyman. 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 Don't do it. Candyman. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that was something that he set up. What the hell was that? Oh, wait, there's a mirror right next to me. I hope that doesn't. Ha 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 ha. I'm sorry, Winston. That's just a little trick we like to play on new members and guests to our meetings. Come here, I'll write you a check. Very funny, guys. Jesus, I almost had a heart attack. Oh, come on, that's funny. These guys sure have a unique sense of humor. Come on, Winston, don't be a little bitch. It's a funny joke. It's a cool effect. That was not cool. I got such a fright. <laughs> I do apologize, Winston. I always intended giving you 500 from the painting, but I figured we could all have a bit of fun with it. Anyway, I believe we had a deal. Sure, I will write you a check. Here's a check for 500. Thanks, and here's the painting. A pleasure doing business. Thank you. Alright, now nah, I can go on for a bit longer. I want to talk to Bonnie. Here's your money, Bonnie. A check? Winston, you disappoint- Of course, really? It's from David, you know he's good for the money. I'm good for it, darlings. He's good for it. Very well. Your followers are looking very eager to get started. Are they still beside me? Of course. Follow me. We can't do this here. I'm gonna shovel my way over. Come along. It has come to this. I'm about to get in touch with the Goves. Having God leads me up a further set of stairs. This one far more rickety and certainly not as grand as the others. 
She sits me down in a small darkened room at the very top of the stairs. I'm officially creeped out. Welcome to the seance room, Winston. How does it feel to be here? It's a bit creepy, to be honest with you. Why the mood lightning? With darkness comes less distractions. It is a better environment to communicate. Plus, it gives it all a bit of showbiz, doesn't it? Indeed. I'm sorry for being rude to you downstairs, Winston. I just need to maintain that persona for my career. When it comes to communicating with the dead, I'm actually very serious. I can just about forgive you. Shall we get started? Put the locket on the table, Winston. I'm reaching out to the spirit world now, Winston. Hello, can I ask for your names? Hello, I just want a quick chat today. We don't mean to disturb you. The two spirits are drifting around the room. They aren't talking. Why not? Let's be patient. Talk to us when you can. Don't be afraid. Okay, I'm getting feeling now. Senses. Even with the locket, I think their energy is too low to communicate directly. Why are you following Winston? I hear something. Danger. Danger. Your friend is in danger. Shit. I purposely didn't tell Bunny much of the details on Vincent's disappearance to see if she would get to it, and she has. He is trapped. Alive. But trapped. Where? Where is he trapped? I feel a very cold place. I'm sensing darkness. I think they are saying our resting place. Did they bury him alive? Our resting place. Where? Where is the resting place? Death. 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 What happened? What happened? I am overwhelmed with a sense of tragic death. Oh, their faces. Oh my god. What the hell? Stop. Stop. Stop it. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Jesus indeed. They've gone. Gone. That was quick. Are you okay? Bonnie looks like she may need a change of pants. I certainly do. That was so intense. I felt like I was going to die. I had such clear visions and feelings of a most terrible death. Your friend is missing, yes? Yes. These spirits are trying to guide you to him via their resting place. That would be my conclusion of this terrifying experience. I have never felt such pain and suffering from a spirit. I felt it in my bones, Winston. Is my friend okay? They said he is alive? I believe he's alive, yes, but I did get an overwhelming sense of death as well, which seems unconnected to your friend. You must be careful. I feel an... I felt a feeling of immense evil when they were trying to talk to me. I couldn't make out many words, yet I felt so much through my body. I can't tell if the spirits are malevolent or not. Malevolent or not. Malevolent. Yes. Evil. Dangerous. Whatever you do, proceed with caution. They clearly want to lead you to your friend, but their spiritual energy is too low to make direct and sustained contact with you. I see. They might lead you into a trap, or they could be genuinely trying to find your f trying to help you to find your friend. Be careful. Thanks. This is real, isn't it? Yes, very real. Where did you find this locket? My friend found it on the Thames shore shortly before he disappeared. And ever since I had it in my possession, I've been having these ghostly encounters. The locket is a vessel. And in opening it, your friend may have invoked the spirits we have seen before us. That's a very distinct possibility. 
What I can say with some certainty is, spirits of this type are often manifestations of some sort of anger, grief, or revenge wish. What do you mean? They are desperate to communicate something, but I cannot tell if it's something that means your friend is in danger, or something that means they want to lure you to a similar fate. You need to find out more about them, their circumstances, what happened to them in life. With this information, the path you need to take may be revealed. If you don't mind, I must rest. Please go. Bunny looks absolutely shattered. It looks like she has seen things I should never have to see and taken a physical battering in the process. Of course. Thanks, Bunny. You are welcome. Please be careful. As I make my way back down the stairs, I try and think about what has just happened. That was real. I felt such intense feelings of uneasiness. I feel sick and nauseous. Either the Govers are trying to help me find Vincent or they have him trapped somewhere and want to do the same to me. Even if it's some sort of terrifying trap, I need to continue. I need to find Vincent and solve this mystery. She said they talked to... She said they talked about him being at their final resting place. What could that mean? A cemetery? Who knows, I will have to do some serious thinking overnight and try to find more information tomorrow. Perhaps Laurie can help me, and I should go back to the library to find out about these churches who help the Jews. I find out if I find out where they escaped to. Perhaps I'll find Vincent there? She kept saying danger. He must be in danger, I need to hurry up. This is too much. I'm scared and exhausted. I should go home. I need to find out what exactly happened to the Govis, and hopefully I can understand if they can mean me harm or are trying to help. Oh look, looks like Laurie is fast asleep. Something tells me I won't be getting too much of that tonight. I hate to wake her, but I think she needs to hear about tonight's developments. Okay, I can... I think I'm gonna end the episode here because I am way over time. But that's alright, I don't mind that if it's... Oh, no, no, my inventory. I mean my save, save, save. Alright, I'm gonna end this episode here, so I will see you in the next one. I like where this game is going. It actually gave me a scare of a bit there. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!